How can hotels reduce their energy and water consumption? How can they reduce waste? How can they use resources, including human waste, efficiently? We're in northern Germany on the Baltic coast in Gelting, near the town of Flensburg. This farm was converted into a hotel in 2006. Fairhouse Hotel is popular with German vacationers. Seven rooms are available, each furnished in tasteful Nordic design. The hotel was built to minimize guests' CO2 footprint. This was important to hotel owners Uta and Stefan Janbeck. A guest at a conventional hotel generates somewhere between 14 and 47 kilograms of CO2 per night per person. At Fairhouse, it's just three kilograms. How is this possible? For example, organic produce from local farms keeps transport routes short and CO2 emissions low. In 2004, the hotel switched from fossil fuels to solar power. And it has halved its water use, too. Here, all human waste flushed down the toilets is recycled and ends up in a tank behind the barn. Checking on its contents isn't something Stefan enjoys, but it must be done. Every two weeks in summer and every four to six weeks in winter. The liquid and solid waste is collected here. You need to place a layer of straw on top so that enough air gets in. This container needs to be switched out. And this is what it looks like after a year. Solid waste has turned into humus. The reeds behind the house are not just pretty to look at. They also serve a purpose. Microorganisms along the roots filter and clean wastewater. It takes about 14 days for the water to flow from the top to the bottom. In this time, the bacteria filters the feces contaminated water. The filtered water is collected in a tank. Time for a sample. This isn't drinking water. But it's like the water you'd find in a lake, clean enough for swimming. A gulp won't give you diarrhea or kill you. This water is used to flush the hotel toilets, run washing machines and dishwashers. Uta Janbeck uses the self-produced humus for her gardening. She grows fruit, vegetables, flowers and herbs, which she turns into culinary treats. Fairhouse Hotel specializes in sweet spreads and savory chutneys, all of them homemade. Only seasonal products are used. And because everything is freshly made, there's hardly any packaging that needs disposing. This means guests get to enjoy a super sustainable breakfast. The hotel's solar panels generate most of the electricity needed. The power is stored in an old forklift battery and a brand new lithium ion battery. They've got the same power, but different volumes. This one weighs a ton, that one 120 kilograms. Uta and Stefan switched to electric cars in 2014. They rent them out to guests as well. So, let's power up our car with the electricity we've generated through our solar panels. It's a bit like harvesting your own homegrown salad. Uta and Stefan enjoy sharing their know-how with hotel guests and are in constant contact with other eco-hotels. Their establishment belongs to a network of 10 German hotels that operate according to strict eco-standards. Their CO2 emissions are regularly vetted. Fairhouse Hotel is among the most sustainable of them all. 
We are constantly adapting to the circumstances. We are doing a good job ecologically, but we don't want to spend large sums of money either. We want to limit our spending. We're pioneers when it comes to doing things that are ecologically sensible, but also save money. What drives us is thinking about the next generations, our children and grandchildren. We want to do everything we can to leave behind a grandchildren-friendly Earth. Uta and Stefan hope more hotels will go down this road. They're convinced that every small effort helps in making tourism more sustainable.